Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get your baby to sleep through the night. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, I've got Leo right here. He's just playing with all his toys. So that's what you hear in the background and all the music. But we're gonna be talking about how to get your baby to sleep through the night. I'm gonna be sharing four tips that I learned with Leo and how we got Leo to start sleeping through the night starting when he was around five weeks. So if you would like to learn how to hopefully get your little one to sleep through the night, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright guys, so tip number one and the one that I most always suggest to everyone is to swaddle your baby, especially when they're newborns. Make sure to swaddle them nice and tight. That way they don't startle themselves and they don't get scared and they're able to sleep nice and sound. Newborns always startle themselves and wake themselves up. If you've ever watched a baby when they're first born, all they do when they're asleep is that they jump. And so what happens is that when they jump, they startle themselves and so they wake themselves up. And to prevent that, you can swaddle your baby. That way they are nice and swaddled up and cozy and they're not moving around. And so even if they do get startled in the middle of the night, they don't wake themselves up because they're in that swaddle and they can't really move around or jump around. The other thing about swaddling is that it helps babies learn how to self-soothe. And yes, babies learn how to self-soothe even when they're really little because when they're swaddled up, if they get startled or if they wake up and they look around, sometimes they're so comfy and swaddle it up that even though they wake up most of the time they end up falling back asleep just because they're so comfortable and they just slowly fall back asleep by themselves and they self-soothe themselves and that's how they start learning when leo was born we would swaddle him up right before bed and for all of his naps and to be honest, most of the time during the day when he was a newborn, just because it kept him nice and comfortable so he can nap whenever he wants and he wouldn't get startled or scared or anything. But he would sleep honestly really long stretches and if it was for him, probably he would have slept through the night starting at the beginning. But I would obviously wake him up and nurse him every two to three hours because when they're newborns, you have to nurse them pretty frequently so they can start gaining that weight. Leo started completely sleeping through the night and I stopped waking him up at night to feed him when he was around four and a half, probably five weeks. He'd go to bed at 10 o'clock and he wouldn't really wake up until like seven in the morning sometimes six in the morning obviously his bedtime i've moved it up to seven o'clock so he goes to bed at seven doesn't wake up till seven the next day and he sleeps through the night i'm gonna say 95 percent of the time and i say 95 percent of the time because there are those nights where he'll randomly wake up in the middle of the night because he wants to nurse or he'll just wake up for like 20 30 minutes and then he goes right back down but that is the good thing about swaddling you guys is that it helps them from startling themselves so i personally suggest to stop swaddling your baby around three and a half months maybe four months and really they say to stop swaddling your babies once your babies actually learn how to turn around and flip over because at that age they're able to flip over on their belly and if they want to go to sleep on their belly then they can and they'll just flip back over obviously if they're in the swaddle they can't really flip over and they start getting uncomfortable and fighting the swaddle all right tip number two is stick to a schedule and put your babies on a schedule um, and I suggest this because it gives you peace of mind and it kind of helps the baby learn his schedule and when he's gonna go to bed like I said Leo's bedtime is seven o'clock most of the time like 7 20 he goes upstairs takes a bath and he's out by like eight o'clock the latest that is his schedule every single night he doesn't wake up the next day like i said until like seven or eight in the morning and so he's used to it so definitely stick to a schedule find something that works for you where you can stick to it and stick to it every single day and i mean every single day like even if people are over at your house you're gonna go put your baby down to sleep that way your baby knows that at that time it's bedtime and so they go to bed every night at the same time obviously sometimes it just doesn't happen because you have things to do and you're not able to get home right at bedtime um but by the time you get home your baby's ready to go to bed definitely find yourself a schedule that works with you that works around the things that you're doing at home and that works with your baby and stick to it try to stick to it as much as you can that way your baby gets used to it eventually your baby is just gonna know that it's bedtime and he's probably just gonna start falling asleep by himself at that time so tip number three you guys is routine and by routine I mean sort of like a schedule like I was talking about is stick to a routine that your baby gets to know that way baby gets used to his <laughs> baby gets used to his routine and what's coming up and he knows it's bedtime and helps them relax and get ready for bed that way they're not fussy throughout the night that way they're able to sleep a long stretch of the time so leo's routine like i said starts around 7 to 7 20 and i take him upstairs i start running the bath and i kid you not guys as soon as he hears the water running and we take off his clothes he knows it's bath time and he gets so excited because usually he's tired by then and he's ready just to go to sleep and so he takes a bath obviously get him in his pajamas and then we either give him a bottle or i 
I nurse him and he's out and by himself usually around 7 to 7 20 he starts getting tired and he starts rubbing his face and he's ready to go to bed and he knows that routine so he knows that right after his bath he's gonna go to bed and so he's used to that so try to stick to a routine that works with you that works with your baby way well, your baby sort of knows what to expect every night and they're already ready for bed and so I definitely think that sticking to a routine and a schedule helps them sleep throughout the night tip number four and the last and I think is one of the most important tips is to not let your baby get overtired and what I mean by overtired is once your baby starts giving you cues that he's tired like he starts rubbing his face or his eyes get glassy or he just starts getting cranky for no reason put him to sleep don't try to keep him up till later just because you want to keep him up because it's going to help him sleep throughout the night because it's more than likely not but when babies are so tired they're so wired up and they're so awake and alert that they're probably not going to go to sleep or if they do go to sleep they're going to put up a fight and they're going to be really fussy and really cranky try not to keep your babies up past their bedtime or past when they start looking like they want to go to sleep and with that also try to learn your baby's cues of when they're sleepy so if they start rubbing their eyes a lot or if their eyes look glassy or they're just look or their eyes just start looking really low and they start getting fussy and cranky for no reason it more than likely means that they're tired and they just want to take a nap or they're ready just to go to bed so definitely keep an eye out for your baby's cues of when they're tired and obviously it's not going to be able to be done every single time because sometimes you're just out and about and you have things to do and you're just not going to be able to get home just for them to nap but yeah guys that is one of the most important things that i recommend is to just try not to get your baby so overtired that way they're able to go to bed at night without out really fussing and putting up a fight and they're more relaxed than irritated and cranky that is it for today's video guys i hope it was helpful i hope some of these tips help you guys out if you're having trouble with maybe keeping your baby to sleep throughout the night or if you're trying to learn some tips on how to get your baby to sleep throughout the night definitely leave me comments and leave me things that have helped you get your babies to sleep throughout the night if you like today's video definitely hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way you know every time that i upload a video and i will see you guys on my next video bye